Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to be doing a uh, fencing footwork session for you all, um, sort of a home edition, so uh, I'm keeping um, space in mind, so you shouldn't need anything more than uh, about four meters, um, and yeah, you won't really need much for this obviously, so you need your fencing shoes, um, for some of the exercises uh, I've got some slip floor movements, so you kind of need a surface um, that you can slide on, so I've got wooden floor, so wooden floors are great, uh, tiled floor, so some of you may want to do this um, or those movements uh, in the kitchen um, kind of basically anywhere that's not uh, carpeted or rough um, but those exercises don't require much space at all so if you are doing it in the kitchen don't worry you don't need that much space um, other things to bear in mind before we get started is warm yourselves up so maybe do five minutes of skipping uh, go do five minutes of running up and down the stairs kind of whatever you have around you to get you warmed up it could even be just star jumps for a couple minutes um, and then once you've done that, stretch yourselves off. Uh, really make sure that our lunges are stretched um, so that we're ready to go and we can just crack on. Um, the layout for this uh, video is going to be that I'll show you the um, exercise. So I'll do a demonstration, talk you through it. And then there'll be a sort of a, a minute um, pause, which will let you guys do the exercise. Uh, and then from there, we'll move on to the next one. Um, this isn't necessarily to be done in um, a circuit fashion, even though I'll be leaving one minute gaps and going on next. It's more just to sort of, uh, I demonstrate, you do, demonstrate the next one, and so forth. Um, I hope you guys find this um, useful and you enjoy it. And yeah, let's crack on with um, the first exercise. Okay, so for this exercise, all you're really going to need is a slip floor, as I mentioned, and a piece of paper, um, just something to let you kind of uh, slide on. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go with a piece of paper to start off with, we're going to put it on the floor, and we're going to put our heel on it, okay? So then we're going to go onto that on guard position, and from here, we're just going to slide our um, foot forward and then bring it back. Make sure that you stay nice and low when you're doing this, so you um, I don't want you guys to be wobbling forwards and backwards, so you want to stay nice and stable, keep that back leg um, sort of bent and locked in as you would when you're on guard. And from here, so you're just going to go lift the toe up, slide out, and go. Okay, so the purpose of this is that we're going to be doing some um, isometric loading on that back leg, on those quads. And then we're going to, from here, now we're going to be getting a contraction of those hamstrings. Okay, so we're just going to do this a couple times. Okay. So nice and controlled. And then once we've done that for a couple of times, we're going to put our back uh, heel on the piece of paper. Um, and then from here, actually maybe more mid foot on here to make it easier. So we're going to go on guard again and we're going to load that front leg and we're just going to extend our leg out and then bring it back. So this time we're um, isometrically loading that front leg and then we're contracting um, the adductors to bring the leg back. Okay, and again, we're gonna do this a few times. Make sure it's nice and controlled. Make sure that your on guard position stays nice and stable. Don't want to be rocking forwards and backwards. You want to stay nice and upright as you're doing it, okay? So for this exercise, it's a similar principle to what we just did, except this time we're going to be doing it with a lunge. So I've got the piece of paper under the heel of my um, front leg, and what we're going to do is lift our toe up, slide into that lunge, and then come back. Slide into that lunge, come back. Slide into that lunge, come back. Okay? 
Um, one tip to do this with, so that I've noticed that sometimes if I keep my heel up the whole way through, even when I finish the lunge, um, I can actually almost go into the splits because I just keep slipping. So as soon as you get to that full lunge position, just hit your toes down. So make sure you don't have the paper by your toes and I'll give you enough grip um, so that you don't fall over. And then we do the same thing afterwards for um, the back leg. So a piece of paper under the back leg and we're just going to be extending out and back. Extending out and back. Extending out and back. Out and back. So for this next one, um, we no longer need a piece of paper or a slip floor, just normal, a standard floor work. So what we're gonna be doing, um, because obviously of our constraints, uh, we wanna add a bit of challenge, we're just gonna be doing really technical uh, steps forwards and backwards, but we're gonna be doing them super slowly to the, add that extra challenge. So what we wanna be doing is, on guard position, we're doing our first step forward, we're gonna to go toe up, and then we're just gonna lift, and then down. So we're gonna lift that a little bit longer and hold. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same backwards, so we're gonna go, Lift that back leg up, hold it a little bit, and then go. And then go, yeah? So hold, extend, go. And then steps forward, so heel up, and then go. Okay, so for this next one, we're going to be doing uh, lunges, but again, we're going to have a similar philosophy to the previous exercise, where we're going to be doing really slowly. So for this, we also want to make sure um, techniques right, so we want to make sure that hand's leading first. So we're just going to go, so start extending the hand, toe up, lift your foot up, and then push off, and then back, okay? So really, so hand, toe up, lift, and then push off, okay? And then back, so it should be hand, slow, 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 fast. Okay, so what you're doing here, you're going really slowly, just kind of elevating that front, um, that front foot for a little bit, and then as you slowly extend that leg, then you're going to really push off that back leg and make it explosive to finish off.
All right, next up, we're gonna be doing some uh, preparation steps and two steps forwards and some preparation step, two steps back. So uh, we're just gonna do nice slow preparation, one, two. Slow preparation, one, two. Slow preparation, one, two. Slow preparation, one, two. Okay, and we're just gonna keep doing that for the minute. I keep going forwards and backwards. Um, it's up to you whether you wanna extend your hand on that second step. Um, or if not, just stay on guard um, throughout the whole movement. Equally, when you're going back, uh, once you finish that um, last step backwards, you can also do a parry repost, okay? Okay, so now we're going to be doing preparation step lunge. So that's slow preparation step lunge and recover. And then little steps back so you get distance again that you can go. Preparation step lunge. Okay, and then keep repeating that. Um, it's currently almost 8 a.m. Um, and my neighbors are downstairs, so I don't want to wake them up, so I'm not going to do too many uh, sets of those. Okay, next up, we're just going to do an explosive um, fast step lunge. So, nice and simple, just two, and recover. And then go steps back to your ready distance again. And then you're just going to go two, and you're going to keep doing that. Okay, so for this uh, next exercise, we're going to do um, something a bit like uh, shadow footwork, I guess. So what you're going to do is just basically going to imagine that you have um, someone in front of you keeping distance, and you're just going to go back and forth, changing direction, changing speed, um, just all in your mind, in your head, and you just feel it out for the whole minute. So an example would just be doing little steps, forwards, backwards.
Um, for this next exercise, we're going to do something called levels. And what that entails is you just getting an all-guard position that's slightly wider than normal. And this is going to be, uh, when you get to that sort of normal knee flexion that you would have in an all-guard position, that's number one. Um, then you're going to go slightly lower down, that's position number two. And then you're going to go even lower down, and that's going to be position number three, okay? Um, when you're doing this, make sure that you're stable, your torso is upright. If you can't go that low and you find yourself leaning forward, don't go that low, okay? If your heel comes off at the back foot a little bit, when you're at number three, that's totally fine, nothing to worry. So the way this works is that um, in that one minute um, where you guys can do the exercise, there'll be numbers, um, so one, two, or three coming up on the screen. And you basically, as soon as the number comes up, you're just gonna go into that position and so on. Okay, so it'll look something like this. So I'll shout out some numbers as I do this so you guys can get a feel. But it's gonna be so one, two, three, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, three, one, two. Okay? So it'll be something like that. So it's a bit of a quad burner. Um you will be tired by the end of the minute, but it's a goodie. All right, so uh, sort of the last exercise that you guys can do. Uh, it's more optional because it depends on um, space, what you have around. Uh, but it's going to be some blade work. Um, so what I've done is I've got my uh, clothes rack here. I put my mask on top of it. Then I've got my fencing jacket, which was being washed. I stuffed it with a pillow uh, and then I put a coat hanger and hung it up behind the mask. Uh, and what we're going to do really is um, just play around with the blade. Um, just do a couple hits, practice around and Really, there's not really going to be any structure to this, um, so I'm not going to really have um, uh, structured little clips or um, have like the do it, try it yourself um, part of it for a minute or whatever. You're just going to basically do this for however long as you want. But basically, just some of the stuff you kind of want to be doing, um, you're just going to go on guard and you know, you're just going to go from here and you're just going to do nice, simple hits, okay? So start off nice and slow, make sure the technique's right, be happy with it. Do different cuts if you can, so if you're able to get a body. If you only have a mask available, just do from here, so you can do head, you can do cheek, and obviously you can do the other cheek, okay? And just kind of do that. And then afterwards, if you want to, you know, speed it up, do it a bit more explosively, you know, that's totally fine as well, okay? Just make sure whatever's around you, you don't, you know, break or hit anything. Uh, make sure no one's around when you're doing this as well. Um, and yeah, you're going to go from that. Other stuff you can do as well is you can put the line out and you can just practice, you know, doing for as long as you can, just small disengagements, try and make them as small as possible, you know, even maybe try and spell out your name as small as possible, and then you can do hits. Um, and yeah, you know, um, obviously we can then go and then add in a uh, sort of a, a lunge as well. Go back, we can go face, you know, make sure that your dummy doesn't fall over. Um, but yeah, just really, Use this as an opportunity as well to, you know, just really nail down technique because um, you've got so much free time now, um, unless you're working from home. Um, but, you know, just really, just, I guess, have fun and enjoy it yourselves. Um, you know, other stuff you can do as well. You can just practice your parries, even though you're not going to have anyone to hit you. You know, then go to different parts from different parries. You can imagine a blade there, unless you can get yourself to have a blade sticking out there. Uh, and, you know, you can do beats or just imagine a beat. Bam, bam. You know, and yeah, that's it really. Maybe try out five minutes or so, maybe a bit longer, 10 minutes, uh, depending on how you're feeling.
So that's the end of today's uh, session. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, but also found it a bit challenging and it was fun. Um, let me know if you have any uh, questions or anything like that, any suggestions that you want us to do uh, for future clips. Um, but yeah, like I previously mentioned, just really use this opportunity to nail down your technique. Uh, you know, make sure little things like your guard position is nice and stable, your knees are bent enough, um, you've got good small steps going, nice rhythms, uh, your hands always going first, leading um, that lunge. And yeah, play around with it. I'm sure if you want, you can always send us some, some clips and some of us might be able to respond, you know, give you some tips and pointers if you're looking for that. Um, but yeah, other than that, stay safe, uh, stay well, and um, yeah, enjoy yourselves. Take care.